Hi everybody, it's Will and Captain Puddlemaker here, and it's a first and last, the first show of 2024. Very, very exciting. And we've got some amazing characters lined up for you that uh, Charlie and Katie can show you. But sadly, it's the last show puddle of our Clock Tower collection. Of course, the collection that's going out is called Clock Tower Collection. So, what's the next collection called, Puddle? Are you going to tell me? Well, I guess that's a no. But there's still time to join our veterans club. Are you going to tell us all about it, Puds? Our launch for the new 2024 collection is just around the corner. It's very exciting, but especially exciting for our Best Friends Club members, who get early access to the new 2024 collection catalogue a week before everyone else. If you would like to be one of the first portful of people to find out Mum's best kept secret, join the Charlie Bears Best Friends Club today. To find out more, scan the QR code in the corner of the screen and join the family. Yay! That's a really good point, Puddle, because actually we get loads of questions about that on Facebook, about is this a good time to join the Best Friends Club? Well, do you know what? It's one of the main benefits of joining the club is that you get sneaky peek access to the brand new collection just one week early. And what date that's going to be, Puddle? It's the 4th of March. I'm not so sure that you were supposed to tell everybody that. But anyway, that's when it's going to be. So uh, I'll see you all later, a little bit later in the show, to show you a brand spanking new collection from Charlie Bears called Cuddle Cubs. So see you later. them now don't i william you and do. puddle that what are you both letting out secrets what are you gonna do we have to stop them somehow but they are just <laughs> sneaky little things but talking of sneaky little things look who we have now i Gorgeous know baffle and butterpaws they couldn't wait look they normally we normally show them on their own but they're inseparable aren't they because they're sold separately but they just wanted to show off each other together didn't they I, but, I oh know. my god and they I, are beautiful how can you refuse i mean you know we've always tried at Charlie Bears to try and create some wonderful, affordable collectibles. Oh, yeah. And we're working behind the scenes really, really hard. Yes. We're trying to be very green as a company. You know, we've always mm -hmm. had this sort of, this honesty about what we're like, yeah. you know? And so we get fabric lens, we get any little overruns from designs we've done in the past or fabric <laughs> lens that we ordered to possibly create new designs. I think, do you know what? We can't make a lot. No. But we can definitely make some. So yes. baffle and butter paws very much fall in that little filing cabinet in that little in, realm you know, mm -hmm. we cannot make hundreds and hundreds we've just got enough for cuddle times yes. globally mm -hmm. but how cute they're beautiful and relaxing as well look at him he's just so cozy in that under that chair it's a beautiful and it's still for sale isn't it still it online is. but absolutely stunning but what inspired you because the colors and everything as well it's very sort of sea breeze and very it gorgeous is. and you know we're so lucky you know people don't always think about this but a lot of the fabrics that you see on the bears mm. are actually part of the fashion industry oh. so if you imagine you get these seasonal trends you get new colors that are coming out year after year so we're in a very privileged position that we normally see a good season if not two seasons in advance what's going to be trendy and mm -hmm. popular and what's out there Absolutely. we have been going to print and create our own fabrics as well yes. just so that we can get something that's a very specific color mm -hmm. or something like that i love the little tipped bears as you know oh, yes. i love the fact that you know visually with both of these bears there's a darker undertone to mm -hmm. them and then they've got that softer tipping as you work up the little yeah. pile ends. So it almost looks like they've been covered in icing sugar. And you can tell them that they've been hugged as well because they leave the little prints when you touch them and just mess with them. They're they so do. beautiful. And the detail, Charlie, just look at the little noses as well. I mean, look at that lovely, I call them glitter strands, but they're just going to be something very, very... It's, like it's the overstitching. We always it. said, you know, we wanted to prove that everything that we do is handmade. Yes. We can easily, easily show that to everybody because we've got the hand in 
embroidered noses, mm-hmm. you know, not just a piece of fabric that's been stitched into place. We actually hand embroider all stitch. of our nose. So over stitching as well, just to give oh. the little noses that extra little bit of sparkle and just have a little bit more detail on. You know, they're both very, very simple patterns and they've got the most fabulous, luxurious to touch. Yeah. Um, you know, they're just gorgeous, fully jointed. And I yes. think sometimes, you know, you don't need lots of bells and whistles and accessories and sometimes less is most definitely more. Absolutely. And I think with these colours, you know, anybody who likes those cool blues, they look mm-hmm. fabulous like on the little white chair. I know, he's popular. I know, I'm going to get him off now because I could cuddle, but it's just, it's so vibrant. But like I said, against the white chair, you really stand out. And look at the double bow he's got as well on gorgeous butter paws. I mean, just look. And that's really just picking up and accentuating some of the little colours that we've got yeah. in the fabrics that we've used there. Like I said, he is fully jointed as well. So he, he will is. sit, oh, I know, all <laughs> lol, and do things like that. But I just think that they're exquisite, you know, and it's, like I said, we don't have lots, we're apologising. But I just think it, it's really nice to have something that's a little different, yeah. knowing that there's not gazillions of them, yeah. you know, Something all over special. the world. Yeah. That's it. And the names as well, Baffle. I'm easily baffled. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I love it. I absolutely adore the name suggestions. Thank you so much, everybody, for sending in these really, really unusual name suggestions. Butterpaws. I was going to say butterpaws. Tell me more about that. So we had this wonderful, wonderful um, lady. She actually lives out in Australia, oh. who sent me an email. And she rescues cats. Oh, my gosh. And she was saying it's all well and good, but obviously they come to live at her house and she lets them wander off and walk out and do oh. things like that. And she said, do you know what? There's a little trick. So I said, do you not worry that they get lost? Yeah, yeah, You know, when we'd had a chat. You just rescued them. And she says, do you know what? There's this old sort of wives' tale that if you pop butter on pussycat's paws, that wherever they've been, they'll always know their way back home. Oh, my gosh. And it's really funny because now that she said that, I kind of remember that from yeah. years ago, speaking with mum and nana about it and things like that, and thinking, but you did. You yeah. put something on the paws. And they would always so find the way home. And they would always find the way back. Oh, so, of course, that name, Butter Paws. Yes. I was just like, oh, it's got to have the hints yes, of these lovely definitely. little tiny olivey buttery colours that we've got in there. So it just seemed easy. And whenever you do look at Baffle, he looks like I do sometimes. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah he's but, got that ooh, little confused, oh, yeah, what's going look, on? oh, is that true? Or I you're know. not sure what you heard is correct. Someone tell me what's going on. That's it. Thing. Oh my god. So I just gosh. think, you know, with these little bears, they needed these really cute, tiny, wonderful little names. Yeah that go with them. And I love that because I just think it adds to the character. Yeah. And you do love a story though. I always tell everybody, Charlie loves a story. I do. And it's just, that's it. And it does show through the bears, doesn't it? It, it does indeed. Does. And oh I think it's goodness. fabulous. So please, please, please keep sending in your name suggestions. The wackier, the better. <laughs> yes. Because the all bears like... are getting wackier as well. I but love we, it. We like that though, don't we? We, we do. love the stories. Please do the story because it really and helps when you're designing. If you've kind of got this fuller picture Mm -hmm. of who the bear's about yes you know there's just a tiny little bit of background in there so that Mm -hmm. you just have these these little tiny sparks that then appear that you think ah actually he didn't need to be a pussycat yeah he could be a little bear but you find that perfect fabric and think oh it's got those buttery tones butter paws yeah you know so it does help the little links absolutely oh yeah. my goodness so I'm, I'm i'm sold already oh my gosh <laughs> i'm taking you all home but i hope I that thinking. you guys love them but I, honestly everything picture perfect talking of which do we see who's coming up next yeah. yeah let's have a look guys Clown bears. We couldn't be anywhere else apart from here, could we? And am I right in saying, look at these beautiful bears, they are sat 
on this gorgeous circus creation that your dad made? Absolutely. Now, you'll notice all the way through the gallery, there are lots of things that mum and dad have made That's for the gallery. So beautiful. As little presents, as little yeah. gifts for the gallery, oh. which is super, super sweet. So and for you. Absolutely. I mean, come on. Oh, I know. I absolutely <laughs> love my little circus theme and thought, where better? To talk about our two little clowns. I know, Gafour, and we his brother's here, isn't he? Snickle. Snickle, his brother is here just to give him a little bit of companionship and a bit of a handhold for his debut. That's it. Beautiful. Limited edition of 150 each. And it's super, super exclusive. Because normally do, we normally do 300 between, but 150 of these each, that is it's a super. very, very low limit. Again, because of the fabrics. I was it's a say. blend of wool and plush. Oh my gosh. So you see these gorgeous, what looks like a little fine knit. It like does. a little jumper, like a little sock. Look at that, look like this, look at this. We could be I matching. Know. It's beautiful, isn't it? And the blending, that's very high tech, Charlie, I isn't mean, it? I know, can you see? This yeah. really shows our skill. <laughs> it really shows the Not my personally, skill. I was going to say. Where it's all here, because you see every single stitch. We haven't oh. got this massive, long pile yeah. fluff to hide everything, so you do see the little dints in the back yes. of the neck. Of which does what? Where the eyes are pulled through, so oh that you can pull them in, goodness. pull them in, pull them in, until you've got that perfect shape. Yeah, the expression is Please don't think it? it's a fault. It's truly not. It's just because this is such a short fabric. Yeah. There are zero hiding places. Yeah, I was going to say, all exposed in all their glory, though, aren't they? Because every little detail, I mean, look at that. And they're packed full, aren't they? they? They're quite weighty, these bears. They are aren't very, they? very weighty, fully jointed. Mm -hmm. And of course, don't you just love the names? I There's know. so many ways yes. of talking about a giggle. Yeah, a giggle. A chuckle. A giggle. Yeah. A laugh. Yeah. A belly laugh. Oh. A guffaw. A guffaw. I know. Yeah. I'm going to use that now from today. Oh, did you make me guffaw? Oh. And it is really, and it's that character. But clown bears, though, what started the clown bear oh. craze? Because we've had a few now. Do you know, the first time we did a little clown bear, we were sort of sat there looking. I used to do a lot of cross stitching and needlework, oh. embroidery when I was little. I used to love those cross stitch patterns that you would get. And I always used to like it when you used to have a little bear, a little clown, a little giraffe, a little, you know, so that you could be more playful with yeah, threads and things right. like that. We tried clown. I think there's a certain sort of nostalgia mm -hmm. with a little clown character. You can hear the music, can't you? That circus music when you think about them you as can well. Indeed. Really nostalgic. You know, we've done them in Plush. We did. Yeah. I'm thinking Felix. Um, yes. We've done all sorts of yeah. mohair. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows about Pierre, Casper, Grimaldi. We're going back now. Pop off. <laughs> you know, we've done so many little clown yeah. bears in the past. Um, I just think it's nice now and again to do that. We do have certain collectors that I know, especially in our Isabel collection, that only collect the clowns. Yeah. But the best thing is, it's not in your face clown, is it? Not bright colours. This is a traditional bear with a little bit of pizzazz yeah. because it is just stunning, absolutely stunning. And they've got these gorgeous, colourful, stitched in, is it beads, isn't it? Little beads Lots on Lots of little beads. And again, hand-stitched on. That's not yes. part of that. It's no. the accessory that we've created. They've wound it in to all of that. They have That's indeed. Incredible. You know, all of these extra little details that you don't see straight away. I mean, we could be here for an hour. We could be. Talking about every single little detail. We but could. But like I said, it's... <sighs> They're just really, really magical. Maybe not everybody's cup of tea. Maybe yeah. you don't like the retro y sort of nostalgic look. We've got to the masses, guys, haven't we? But, That's it. Oh. But we've always promised there's going to be a bear for every kind of collector yes. out there. So mm -hmm. all of our clown bear collectors yeah. are going to be thrilled yes. that we've got two new. I know. At such a low limit. Exactly. Well. And with Gafford, I know this is your moment, my sweetheart, but we do still have stock of the snickle. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why he's mm. here going, because if you do want the pair, then they are here for a little short time for this one at least. But I think oh, it's nice thing. just to show how they were designed, who was meant to go with who. Yes. And I was quite insistent about having them on set. You do like a pairing as well, I do you? like a pairing. I hate pairs to be lonely. But I also, you know, it's lovely showing a four off, but he was slightly nervous. <laughs> he was. He needed his little bro brother there with him. And you so. love them together. And on the road, they're, they're beautiful. What a gorgeous pair. Oh my gosh, we're on to the next bear, isn't it? I know, who are we looking at next? Who are we looking at next? I just know, there's too many bears, I struggle to remember, but let's, let's take a look together, shall we? And here she is, our beautiful winter moon, limited to 300 of her worldwide, and what a picture-perfect bear indeed. Just look at these stunning accessories. She has perfectly handmade headwear, as well as this fine vintage collar. Absolutely exquisite. And the fur itself just definitely reflects her namesake, the winter moon. Everything that we know and love when we look at that night sky really shines back at us. And it's a colour that you can pair with any bear. 
we certainly adore her. And just look at this face. The beautiful shading that we have on this bear is so exquisite. Beautifully done around that nose, of which is double waxed, by the way, to give that really shiny finish. And the shading around the eyes, absolutely wonderful, paired with the whites. What a little face to look back at. I mean, how beautiful. We certainly love her. We hope you do. And if you do want her to join your hug, please just click to that QR code and pop her in your basket. Now I could talk about Winter Moon all day, but we really must show you some more beautiful bears. And the next one has got themselves into a little prickle. Let's see. I told you it was going to be a prickle. I don't lie. I do no. not lie. But here he is. A little teeny tiny hedge. <gasps> oh, I know. Little tiny baby he's hedgehog. He's a little tiny. And we have his brother launched last year, didn't we? We did. So now it completes him. So he's been waiting and waiting, isn't he? And the hedge is finally here. But bears in pairs. But that bears has to, in pairs. It has to extend to little hedgy hogs. Little in. hoglets. That's it. Little hoglets. That's but the baby hedgehog. So he's a hoglet. He is. He is. He is a little baby. But these colours, Charlie. I oh, mean, on, I know. This little precious thing. And that kitten weight. I know. He's Isn't it? He's a solid little tiny He one. really, really is. I think anybody that's got hog will know exactly what we're talking yeah. about now. And again, let me just put him in profile. Let's find his little tag in. Yeah, of course. Oh, look at colors. that profile. <laughs> oh, no. And it's that little upturned nose mm -hmm. with a little bobbly bit on the end. And yeah, he's just absolutely. like, you look at him and you just think, oh, the colours are just exquisite. Mm -hmm. Rather pale. Yeah, but it's, it's, the, it's the hair. It's almost giving colour It's the hair <laughs> and it's having that, you know, we probably, like I say, with hog, it was far more natural colours, yes. but we just had to do something a little Got different. And these ears, Charlie, I mean, come on. <laughs> I know. Look at that. And it can obviously change the way that you yeah. display Lots your little down. ears, but I, I just think they're really lovely. That's the one thing on, on bears. You'll notice with characters when you're busy designing, the ear placement is yeah. such an important part, like the eye placement. Very vital. When yeah. you're doing the designs, because, you know, with the ear placement, it mm -hmm. can completely change the look and the character of the bear. Yeah. Minimal. Yeah. My favourites are the satellite ears, I call them. It's not the correct term. Don't take it from me. <laughs> but it's when they're on the side of their head, the big domes. I'm just like, oh, and that's got me hook, line and sinker. But I think now I'm transferring to these. Yeah. I mean, oh, boop, 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 boop. And it is such the little details give such big impact. And that's what I love about They do, and really sweet. And again, we've not made doodles. No. No, no absolutely we not. But it's the right time. The little hedgehogs are all coming up hibernation yeah. soon. Have you got your hedgehog you know, all so ready for them to I've got, your I've got hedgehog homes <gasps> in the garden. Oh my gosh. And do you know you can actually buy hedgehog food now? Can you? I found it in the garden. Them? You do. You do. Well, bring it Look, in, shall we? Spike, spike <laughs> yeah. hedgehog food. Oh, Others are available, but yeah. Oh, I just, are you listening to this? Isn't I you? know. You're right at home with everyone. He does actually food. feel quite well fed. I know he He's does. He's definitely having enough he before is. he went to bed. So if you do have a little loving for the woodlands and definitely the little hedgehogs, the prickles. No, because we don't do them that often. We don't. So it's nice now and again just to introduce a little favourite character. And he is a cutie. He is an absolute sweetheart. So Surely. What? I've just clocked, I've just realised <laughs> that we've stood in front of something quite exclusive. It's official. It's they have, official. They've found their home in the gallery, so it's official. I'm not going to talk too much about this because we, we I'm mustn't. a bit too excited. I'll stumble my words, honestly. But I know that we've been talking about bears. I hope that you're loving what you've seen so far. But I'm just a bit, I know there's someone in the back, in the back scenes that's desperate to tell us about this. I know. Should we pass it over? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, let's go on then. <laughs> Thanks Charlie and Katie, great show so far. Some amazing little characters there, but some new amazing little characters here. This is our brand new collection called the Cuddle Cubs. And as you can see here, little adventurers go wild. Now when Charlie and I first started the company, we wanted to generate the next generation of bear collectors. We wanted to make sure that we had a price 
and a piece and a piece in the collection for every single collector out there. So this is our starter range. So this is our Cuddle Cubs range, suitable from birth. Charlie and Katie are going to tell you loads more about it. But here's the first 12 characters, which is my favourite. Got to go with the dog because it looks like Captain Puddle Maker. This is Rotty Dog, actually. It's not a Cocker Spaniel. But if you want to see new characters in the collection, put them on Facebook. Let's talk about it on social media. What do we want to see? Do we want to see a donkey? Do we want to see, dare I say it, a dragon? Just saying. So let us know what you want to see within the collection. But this is our first 12. And of course, we all know what happens with the first 12. They go out of stock really quickly. So. Over to you, Charlie and Katie. Thank you. Oh my God, thanks, Will. Oh, oh Will, he loves it. I know. And do you know what? I get light. it. I know. I, do. I get it. It does look like puddy. I know. He, he does look like puddles, doesn't oh, he? But I my know. God, tell, there's twelve here, guys. There are twelve little cuddle cubs, and twelve is your number, isn't it, Charlie? It is. It's not weird. It's it just is. you know, we first started Charlie Bears. We had twelve. It <sighs> always seems to work like that with me. You know, three sets of four, four sets of three, always adds up to what is my magic number, yes. which is a twelve. So many characters. Where do you start? I know. So you'll notice there's quite a lot of variety. We've got a little bit of jungle. Yes. We've got a little bit of zoology in there. You have. We've got a little bit of forestry in mm -hmm. there. You know, we've got the little puppies, yes. bit of farmyard. But these are not all of the ones that might be coming out this year. Oh, stop it. Oh, I oh. know. Stop. Price. Exclusive. I know. Being spilled. This time, Charlie, you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> there must be something in the water I today. Know. I think it was all because Puddle let it out of the bag. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm competing now, aren't I? You are. But I do think that um, it's probably because I'm holding him. Yes. That's it. It's, He's channeling it's, you, Charlie. <laughs> but I do think that, you know, it's really interesting when you start breaking it down, looking at all the different characters, mm -hmm. and then, you know, these are handmade, yes. like our Charlie Bears are. We've gone for super soft fabric. Beautifully soft, yes. So gentle and so easy, you know, lovely tactile, soothing, comforting, mm -hmm. things like that. That. list of animals honestly Endless. Duh, duh, duh. so yeah. many that we could do and that's before we've even started on you know thinking oh we've run out you know mm -hmm. there's so many ways that we can go with this and this is what I love about this collection absolutely they're just perfect aren't they you know they're playful like I say touchy-feely yeah. great when you travel yes. well and I sometimes yes. travel separately we would always take a little bear. I'd have a cuddle. You know, yeah. he'd spray a bit of my perfume maybe on his bear. Oh. I'd have a bit of his aftershave on mine. So oh, that stop. if you are alone, you You've know, you've kind something. of got that. You're carrying them with you. And everyone can have one of these. Everybody from birth up, isn't it? That's, so that's right. Just every member of the family can have one of these pockets of joy. I mean, and they really are joyful because you just look at them and they have their own. I mean, just I look, compare, look, look, I mean, just look at his little smushy face. Absolutely stunning. And it is really go wild, isn't it? It really, really is. I just think they're fabulous, you know, and it's, I'm hoping mm. that uh, we're going to have lots and lots of pictures. But I know, well, talking, you know, teasing it again, we have a competition, everybody. So go wild really is the theme. And I'm sorry, but yeah. we're going to make you guys do the work for us, aren't we? So we want you guys to contact us on every single social platform, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and follow the hashtag Cuddle Cubs Go Wild. Cuddle Cubs Go Wild. Um, tag us in it. I think you guys got two weeks, I believe, isn't it? Yep. To get images. And I mean going wild. We want shopping trips. We want playing with the kids. We want to go to the cinema with you guys. That's it. Everywhere you go, we want to see your Cuddle Cubs with you. So, what do we win? What do we win? What don't we win, Charlie? This is the most exciting thing I think I've said all week. But you win one of each of these Cuddle Cubs. That is 12 of them in total. And we don't stop there. No, we no, don't. No, We're going to no, give no. away an extra £50 gift voucher Brilliant. to spend on our Charlie Bears Direct store. So you get 12 of these babies and a voucher as well. And we just want you guys to have so much fun with it, don't we? Absolutely. Oh, just take pictures of everywhere. Like I said, shops, days out, cinemas, holidays. You've got two whole weeks to get it all into us. Follow yeah. that hashtag. It'll all be in the, the blurb below, won't it? Follow the hashtag and we will announce the winner on all the social platforms I as just well. can't wait to see what little adventures they all get up to. When they go back to their own hugs, we do think, where are they going to go? What are they yeah. going to do? Don't we? Because so I nice live a very boring it. life. Yeah. But I just, you're going to give me some inspiration. But so exciting. Good luck. Have fun. But if you guys do want a little how to do, what to do, take a look at these pictures we've put together for you. That's it, that's it. <gasps> oh my 
got went really, really quickly. It did, didn't it? Too quickly. Too quickly. But mm. so many beautiful bears today. I mean, what a show. We've certainly enjoyed ourselves, I can tell you that for now. But yeah, so gorgeous, gorgeous little hug even there, isn't it? I know, lots of different little stars to look yes. at. And let's not forget the chair. Let's not forget the chair. I'm so need to, I haven't put my order in yet. I need to do that. I will know. you remind me? I will, of course. As soon as I finish, you. straight on to Best Direct, I need a chair. A little bit of everything. We've got lovely little hedgehogs down there, lovely crown features, beautiful colours. And just look at this. She's giving me complete inspiration for my headset now. And good luck, everybody, again with that competition. Yes. I'm so going to have a go. I bet William's going to try this out. Do you remember too. the hashtag? Do you remember <laughs> it? Hashtag Cuddle Cubs Go Wild, everyone. But it's emotional to say bye to the 2023. It but is. really exciting to say hello to the, the collection of 2024. So we I hope know. that you guys can't wait because we certainly go. That's it. The next show will be the launch show. I know. This, <gasps> is, the last, this is the last 2023 oh. show. This is it. Going to make me well up. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed. And let's get excited, shall we? Yeah. See you next See you time, guys. Bye.